In this video, we will be using MATLAB to extract RGB pixel data and repackaging it into a 16-bit container for use with a 16-bit color display. And the reason we do that is because if you look on to color depth, this is a 16-bit, or I guess, 16-bit uh, color, so that means we have 5, 6, 5 for number of bits, and this is what we need to package our uh, pixel data into, and where you're kind of limited here, whereas regular RGB values come in 8 bits, so we'll be doing some slight downsampling of the pictures. So first things first, we're going to use CLC to clear the command window, and then clear uh, variables to clear any excess variables, but I have none but it is good practice to do that so you don't end up with errors. Now we are going to use a function in MATLAB called imread and that allows us to read in the images so whether it be uh, JPEG or bitmap or uh, .png. So first we're going to set that equal to a variable called test image and then we're going to make its container a double because later on we'll be needing uh, values higher than, or 16-bit values higher than an unsigned integer that is 8 bits, which is what im read returns. So we're, we're going to use a double to contain that. So im read the name of your picture, and in this case I have one in my MATLAB. Uh, directory where it stores all of my .m files etc so now would be the time to add that or prior. Second thing I want to kind of have that um, our test image thrown into another variable because for whatever reason MATLAB when you try and divide by uh, 255 because we're trying to convert our images from 0 to 255 into uh, 5, 6, and 5 bit uh, numbers. So we need to divide by 255 so we can get those as decimals. And for some reason when we try and straight up do test image divided by 255 all I get is zeros. Don't know why but this works. So now we're going to extract each color from the array that we get and then we're going to use this comma colon comma one and what this is saying is that we're going to label this matrix called red um, and it's going to pull it from this variable here that contains our uh, RGB value matrix which is if our picture was 50 by 50 pixels this would be a 50 by 50 by 3. Um, the th 3 comes from that it's three matrices one's red, one's blue, and one's green. So right now we're extracting the red one since that's the first. And then we'll do green. And I don't know if I mentioned, but these uh, col um, colons here just allow us to have a m by n so it's an auto uh, compensating thing so we don't have to manually go in each time and specify our pixel dimensions. Next, we'll be wanting to do the heavy lifting of converting these into um, 
the right size packaging. So blue will be 5 bits, green will be 6, and then red will be 5 bits as well. So I'm going to copy and paste here what we're going to be doing so I don't have to waste time. So what I have here is a bit shift because we're going to be making this. This is our container for the 16-bit and we want red at the very uh, top of the 16-bit number that we will be using. Green is in the middle and blue will be at the bottom. So we shift it 11 spaces to the left and then right now we're taking red times 31 because that's the maximum number of bits that we can use for the 5 bits and we're going to round that because else we're going to get um, non-integer values and you can't have non-integer values representing colors. So that's what I do here again and green at 63 because that's 6 bits and we move that 5 over and then blue is the last 5 bits in the 16-bit uh, number that we are using and that is just that by 31. So now we will be doing uh, copying some more code to make time go faster and we will have a uh, bit oring so that way we can combine all of our stuff here into one final 16-bit number. And that's what we have here, which is our um, oaring. And we can only do one at a time, so we have to do it twice. And we're going to be wanting to write that to uh, a matrix so we can access it later. And we can do that with this command, which is a writing. And then this will add commas to make so we can separate each integer in it. Now uh, now that we have that, we're going to want this into a text file. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this large uh, chunk of code that I have to do that and explain it from there. Okay, so we make a variable for z so we can use it in our for loop. We're going to read that matrix that we created here called works.dat. Um, read that in and then file ID is just some name that I made so we can use it know what we're doing later open it up and then uh, as a text and then for uh, this loop here it prints a new line after however many times set it equal to zero so that way we can keep going through and you get a semi decent matrix with commas at the end and then we want to close that and if you look after this runs, you'll have a file called works1.txt with all of your pixel data and a 16-bit uh, number that we had originally in our earth.jpg, now converted for 16-bit instead of 24-bit.